CVS may be where you go to pick up prescriptions and buy shampoo, but now it may also be where you get your health care. Yeah, the drugstore giant just announced a deal to buy Aetna Health Insurance for $69 billion. But what does that mean for you? Well, CBS 2's Christine Lazar is here to break it all down for us. <laughs> Rick and Pat, forget a trip to an, the emergency room next time you're sick. You may be seeing a doctor at the drugstore. The verdict is out on how exactly this deal will affect customers, but it's likely health care as you know it is in for a big change. For years, CVS has been working to become a one stop shop for health care, and not with just pharmacies, but also walk in clinics. By joining forces with insurance giant Aetna, CVS says they envision their locations becoming something of a community based medical center that includes space for wellness, clinical and pharmacy services, as well as vision, hearing, nutrition, beauty, and medical equipment. A company like CVS has 10,000 brick and mortar locations. So that if you're a an Aetna customer, you can access the healthcare system through a CVS, which a lot of us see around the corner from where we live day to day. The proposed mega merger comes as the companies face new competitors, including Amazon, which, after expanding beyond basic retail products into groceries, started inching into the healthcare business. That made companies like CVS sit up and take notice. Still, the merger needs to be approved by antitrust regulators, who recently put the brakes on AT&T's $85 billion purchase of Time Warner. As well as another healthcare merger between Anthem and Cigna Corporation. I think one of the questions is when these two firms come together, they might do a better job lowering drug prices, but do they end up passing those drug prices on to consumers? And that's frankly the question that regulators are going to look at when they scrutinize this transaction. Now, this merger could benefit the insured in the form of lower co pays for prescriptions if Aetna customers use CVS for their pharmacy. A CVS and Aetna partnership could also lower the cost of prescription drugs because presumably they're more powerful together and can get better uh, negotiations with the drug companies. Also, it's likely CVS will open more clinics and expand its services in store like eye care. But experts warn that CVS doesn't have to pass its savings along to you. It could just pocket the profits and the drug copays would stay the same. They could also force you to purchase your prescriptions at CVS, taking away your ability to choose your pharmacy. So again, the deal has not been approved. Lots still has to happen, but it could be where you go to the CVS drugstore to see a doctor instead of the hospital. People get their so vaccinations there now. They do, they do. and, and they do diabetes shots. screening, right? and yeah. they have those minute clinics too, yeah. which are like little urgent cares. I'm sure they'll expand those, and you'll see more of those as well. well almost like what what pharmacy is going to go out of business next because of someone will. Mm. All right, thanks, okay. Christy. Well, can two on your side help you? Just email us at two on your side at cbs.com with your problem. Or on Twitter, use the hashtag 2OnYourSide, and we'll see what we can do to help you solve your problem.